welcome to yet another episode of our irregular show. <laughs> It's been now eight months that we we're living in the van and uh, lots of people were wondering what we would change, what wouldn't we change, what did we like and dislike. So this video is going to be like a sum up of uh, what we still want to improve, what we have improved in the past two weeks in Poland. If you want to see for how much we built that van and how did we do it, the video is going to be right here and in the description below. Don't forget to like the video and comment on it. It, makes, it helps us to grow our community and make more videos. Maybe not that crazy change as you would think, but we ordered two amazing chairs. We've been driving with some $15 chairs for about a few months and they basically broke. They were not uh, very comfortable to sit in for a longer period of time. So we were like, hell, let's invest in something good. So we got those big round moon chairs that are just amazing and we really love them. We also get a small carpet outside of our van. If you know where to buy a cheap one that is a little bit bigger, let us know because we have no clue and we can't can find them they're kind of like a plasticish carpet yeah. and we have bought a table from sam's favorite store which is decathlon <laughs> which table is okay but i think for the price it's not the greatest but it's it's better than nothing anyway one of the first things that we have changed in the van is the switch <laughs> yeah so as you can see we have a instant hot shower outside the van which i think it's a fantastic thing to have you can take cold shower, but if you no, get to... I can't. I can't take cold shower. <laughs> I can so take cold shower. For the last eight months, I wouldn't even take one shower. So having a hot shower for somebody who likes hot water, it's like the best thing ever. And I think that would be the first thing I would put in any van. Yeah, we're really happy with that. But the thing we were not happy is uh, the way I put the switch when I build the van. I put it inside the compartment behind me. It was fine, but every time if you're standing here, you have to get out of the shower area that we have that little bucket for collecting the soap and stuff. And then you put your feet in the sand or in the mud or whatever, you go flip the switch and it was just not working. So uh, I was bored at some point waiting for the paint to dry on my other project on the van. And then I changed the switch to easy access, which is super nice. And I put a waterproof switch so we don't have any issue. We changed lots of stuff outside the van. Amanda did some art craft on the yeah. roof deck there. On our roof deck on both sides, you can see our uh, do a covery sign. So if you see us, you can recognize us and say hello and don't be shy. We also have removed one of the panels in the front of our deck because it was uh, shooting shade on our solar panel and we wouldn't get the 100% of our energy. So yep. that went straight to the garbage. <laughs> and uh, we basically repaint the roof bar that hold our roof deck because uh, we've done them in Morocco and uh, I mean it was cheap to do but uh, they did kind of cheap job on the paint so it was already rusting especially after three months uh, next to the seawater so we had to uh, repaint this we did that and while everything was apart there's three roof seam on those printer and that's a big problem because the roof seam is where the two roofs are basically mount together and they split and eventually the rust go in between and then you have water infiltration and stuff we didn't want that so basically i cleaned them up removed there is a little bit of light rust on one of them so i cleaned them up i treat them properly and then after that i put a sika flex basically 221 the same thing we used to mount the solar panel and the vent and it's a gray it's just a small gray line that you barely notice and then from that it's protect from water and stuff so we stay away from the rust <laughs> while i was doing that i climb on the front of the van I put my knee in the windshield, guess what happened? Our little butterfly <laughs> here. <laughs> I cracked the windshield, basically where the mount mirror, and at some point I was like, how did that happen? There was so much rust behind the windshield that the windshield was not sitting flat. So I just put a little light pressure, the butterfly pressure on the windshield and the windshield <laughs> cracked. Sure. So we had to take the windshield apart. We had to drive with the windshield, just stay from the shop, take the windshield out strip everywhere around the windshield, remove all the rust, treat it, prime it, paint it, clear it, treat it, prime it, paint it, clear it, treat it, prime it, paint it, clear it, do the whole thing, go back to the windshield shop, install a new windshield, put a new seal around. So how much do I owe you? How much? Good price, good price. Very good. good price? No, 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 my says must be like that. Must be 500. 500 is good. 10 uh, you, you... 10 10 discount. Yes, you you left 10 water. 
and now it's just like new so that was a big improvement in the same time there is uh, some rust on the fender some rust on the hood like rust is a never-ending job with that van so sam is keeping up with that we also fix the suspension and the brakes because the parts in poland are way cheaper than anywhere else in the world that's why we like invest lots of money here because it's just so cheap yeah so we replaced the four suspension the back and the front we replaced the back brake we have a set of front brake in the van now to replace when we arrive in canada because they were still good so we just bought them in poland and did all this and i think that's about it for replacing part did some oil change fuel filter and all this and Bought a little bit of spare part there because, uh, like I said, they're not expensive. So it's, if you want to pay five times the price in Canada, it's a little bit uh, ridiculous when you have the opportunity for this. And I think that's it for the outside yeah, of the van. Yeah, let's, eh? let's head in inside. Sam's going to introduce you to all the amazing changes we've done inside. Big progress. Let's <laughs> check it out. Since January, we've been, we've been living in this van. It's now August, so it's already a few months. And there's lots of things that we like. And there's a few things that we didn't like. The things that we realized is... <laughs> First thing, this white PVC panel that we have everywhere is great. It looks nice. It's easy to clean. The only little problem is in the area that you hit your feet or you can damage, it easily crack and it get damaged compared to if we had used wood. So maybe for the next project, we could uh, use different materials, especially in those areas because we're not going to strip the van right now. Lots of work. And from there, I think uh, a few other components that we were not sure at the beginning, but we finally actually really like is the fridge. This 90 liter fridge is very awesome, especially when we go in expensive country. We can stock up on grocery before in a cheaper country. And uh, if you want to see what we did, especially we went to Switzerland and Switzerland is super expensive. If you want to check out our trip, you can go on the link just up here. And we were managed to stock so much grocery for two, three weeks in the fridge. And it's super nice for that. Another thing that we like, I think the bed, we were not sure at the beginning. We want more living space because it's a shorter sprinter. So we're thinking maybe a foldable bed to have more living space and stuff. But at the end of the day, we really like the fixed bed, especially with the storage under it. Uh, I know it's not a big deal. You can make your bed and untie it every day. But I don't like making beds. And I think it's really cool that the bed is already made. You can stop somewhere, you can go lay down, do your stuff, work on the computer, whatever. Uh, it's awesome. And another little, little detail that we really like too is the soap dispenser for the sink. At the beginning, you're like, ah, it's just a soap dispenser. Why would you need that? But if you gotta grab the soap bottle all the time, your hands are full of water, you put water everywhere. And especially we have just a small countertop, so it's super nice to have. You can just use the soap dispenser and you're good to go. Here's the thing that we improve in the van. The first main thing is we finally install a diesel either. We bought an S-Par, the very good quality. The price is good and it comes with a nice kit, easy to install. There's lots of choice. You can buy it with Basto, you can buy a Burr Patcher, you can buy Chinese either if you want, uh, they're both good options, but uh, we went for Planar. And it was a little bit uh, different uh, installation on this van because uh, the van is finished as you can see, so we added it after, so it's a little bit more complicated. And there's no room under the seat right now because we have all our battery. There's no room anywhere else. So what we did is we mounted outside the van, inside the chassis, just like they do on those Volkswagen T4, T5, and we mount it in an aluminum box, basically stainless. So it's all covered from salt, mud, anything like that. And everything is good to go. So we're ready to for Canada because we didn't need the heater so far, but with the weather over there, it's going to be uh, well appreciated. We also add some small pocket to charge our electronic device because every time we charge them, we try to charge when we're driving because we have some power coming from the sun and from the engine. So we maximize that. But uh, our electronic was going all over the place. So we installed those little pockets that are mounted and then we, you can put your phone, cable, battery for the camera, drone, etc. and it stays in place and it doesn't move. Another improvement we were doing is we install an upper shelf just over the driving area. So we have extra storage there, which is really awesome because especially when you go on long trip, you have so much stuff that you carry around and you don't know where you put it. So I was bugging Amanda for a while to install it and she was not sure about it, but finally the result, I think she's pretty happy. We even had to put a little foam on the edge because we used some metal angle and I hit my head about 10 times in the last five minutes. So we managed to just put a piece of foam, same gray of the van, it looks nice and at least you don't hit your head with that. 
here in the bed area, we put a new light over for reading at night because the switch are a little bit far, so we don't need to get out of the bed and stuff. We can just use that. Plus it runs on battery, so we don't use our um, electricity that much. Not that it matter because we got enough power, but still it just got to replace battery and it lasts so long because they're just small light. As you can see, there's new improvement with the bed. Amanda was starting to get bored with the other sheet. So she went on some crazy shopping and bought those watermelon sheets with new pillows and some yellow cover, which is very nice. It's almost like a new van. We got new cushion too that uh, we got sued by the same place that we bought the mattress in Poland. And they put some waterproof material, especially with the dog that she's jumping on the bed back and forth. So it's, uh, it's a little bit more protection. We bought a new carpet for the dog because she drinks water at night and she spills water everywhere because they're dogs, so they don't really care about anything. So we got that mat, that foam that the water bowl for the dog doesn't move around. We got a new carpet too for inside the van, the watermelon that fit the sheet. Huge, huge, huge improvement on this van in the last few weeks. We were in Poland. It was quite cheap to do all this because the price are quite good with the exchange rate. So we took advantage and uh, went for it. On top of that, there's still lots of things that we want to improve. I think the main thing that we want to do is uh, we were limited in the budget when we built a van and we kind of cheap out on the roof vent. Um, I guess it was not the best idea. We want to add a fan because it can create some airflow, especially if you're in some area that it's hot or you can't keep the door open of the van. It's super nice to have a fan. So we're probably just going to buy the kit with the fan without changing our old vent. You can buy it separate and we can pass the wire and half the wires are already there so it's not a big deal and with that there's some uh, window in the back that we want to remove at some point because there's some little rust to fix and my, if you remove it might as well replace them with something better so we want to put the window that we can open so with that with the fan and the window that you can open with the area you can reverse the fan both ways so it can suck air or push air and you can create a nice airflow in your van so that's something that we really want to do in the future we don't know when but eventually in canada we want to add that uh, there is some uh, little separator here for the, the the front area basically and we usually use it for the projector our projector is broken so we want to buy a new one and in the same time we want to improve our screen to maybe make something better for like a proper screen for projector uh, amanda wants to buy a new container for the upper shelf so it looks all nice and even everywhere so for now it looks a little bit mishmash we have different color which is fine but uh it's gonna look nicer with the same color. You should look at me right now. This is what you're saying about me, but uh, I can say whatever I want in front of the camera right now. And um, we want to, actually, I got some notes here because there's so much stuff we want to improve. We don't know how to keep up. We want to replace the pocket behind the seat because we bought those cheap pocket and they're ripping apart and I put some zip tie and some screws so the pockets are holding in place, but uh, we see some different camper with a nicer model that you can actually stuck some stuff. So it's extra storage for off behind the seat and it's usually easy access for, you know, for the dog stuff and pencil and glasses and stuff like that. So we want to improve this. And our window, window cover were kind of built on the fly when we were on the first trip to uh, Africa. And eventually we want to improve to make the same kind of window cover that we have for the back window and the side window. Especially if we're gonna use our van in uh, in Canada in the winter time, it's a little bit colder than let's just say Africa, to be honest. So we have uh, extra isolation that we can use for that. And I think that's about it. For there's always some stuff that we're gonna improve more, but that's about it for what we have uh, on top of our head right now. And uh, eventually, that's gonna happen. Another thing that we improve actually that I almost forgot about it is uh, we install some uh, inside wheel wells. So basically it's just a piece of plastic that go behind your wheel and lots of them they don't have it. It can cause some rust problem in the future. We didn't want that. So it was super cheap in Poland like always. So we bought those inside wheel wells for I don't know, $25 Canadian something like this. And uh, we're actually looking to improve our mosquito net in the back because it's uh, it's falling apart it's a little bit too small for the back door i know there's lots of options for van but uh we don't want to spend uh, an arm and a leg to buy a mosquito net so actually if you guys have some ideas that you can find a two meter wide it needs to be two meter not 160 i can only find 160 online two meter wide mosquito net magnetic let us know yeah the mosquito net in front works perfectly but the one in the back is ripping as you can see 
So that's one of the things that we want to change. And yeah, come and follow us on our adventure. We're now heading all the way to Norway. We have planned two amazing weeks there. So hopefully it's going to be lots of fun. Yeah, let's go hit the ferry now. <laughs>